Hey, what's going on friends? Wanted to jump on here and kind of talk to you about Manjaro today. So most of you guys may know if you follow my channel, if you subscribe to my channel, you get updated on my videos that I've been on Mount Jaro since June of this year. Um, and so I started out at 2.5. I've went through every dose and here I am in December at 15 milligrams. I've already finished my first month of 15 milligrams and I'm actually going to be going into my second month on 15 milligrams. I want to know how many of you guys have been experiencing a lot of problems with side effects as in constipation, stomach indigestion, a lot of problems that come along with this medication. Me personally, my main side effect has been constipation. The higher the dosage you take, Unfortunately, to be honest with you, the worse it's going to get for you. I know I've had a lot of people ask me, uh, did it get better? It has not gotten better. I know it's not good news to hear. As I said, six months into this drug, it has not gotten better, it's gotten worse. Now what I've found that kind of works, not the best, but it does work, is taking Marilax or generic Marilax, maybe great value if you have a Walmart near you. Uh, I just put it in my zero, uh, sugar Powerade and drink one a day at times where I've been miserable on this drug as far as the constipation part and uh, I do find when you're ready to go to the restroom it's a lot easier I've talked to people um, that have just recently taken their first shot and immediately they're put off of the drug their their stomachs hurting they uh, they have like the, the burps and uh, they just the gas and they don't know if they want to do it so I would say to you usually when you take the first shot you're gonna have within the first 24 hours the major side effects of this drug now I've said and I'll say it again if you can stick it out and push through the first 24 to 48 hours your body will acclimate to the drug I believe personally I can't speak for everybody I'm just saying this is this is what I've done and this is what I felt like worked for me. If you can push and power through the first 24 to 48 hours, I feel like your body kind of gets used to it and you start feeling better. And then each time you up the dose, you have to deal with this again. Usually, if you find your sweet spot as far as the right milligram dosage for you, say you've lost a lot of weight on the 7.5, your A1C is great, but you deal with a little bit of the constipation, maybe you want to stop at 7.5. But maybe you want to lose more weight and the constipation is something you can deal with. As I said, referring back to what I said in the beginning of this video, if you are able to take something like Marilax daily, uh, just maybe one dose a day, and you can get past the constipation part of this drug side effect, maybe you would want to go to 10 milligrams because the higher the dosage the more weight loss you'll see uh, for me I'm at 15 I was debating if I wanted to go to 15 I was at 12.5 had a lot of constipation issues I did talk to my endocrinologist I did tell her that after a few weeks of being on the 12.5 milligrams I felt like I was doing a little bit better with the constipation I still had it but it wasn't as bad because I was taking the over-counter medicines to counteract that uh, she said that I could probably move up to the 15 milligrams if I chose to and so I did and so now here I am one month later I am going into my fifth week on the 15 milligrams and I am down weight I'm down about 35 pounds now my A1C, the last time I had it checked about two months ago, was at 5.3. I've been on the 15 milligram dosage for about five weeks now, and it's the same thing. I just drink it every day, the Marilax with my juice, and I just keep on moving forward, and I feel fine. Other than that, I don't have a lot of stomach issues. I definitely have noticed over the past six months, I used to eat a lot of food. I used to eat incredible amount of food it was ridiculous I'd go out to eat and I'd eat a big old cheeseburger I'd eat a lot of fries I'd eat maybe a dessert after that 
and you know I'd always spend so much money on food every time I went out to eat and then so I noticed just within like a month or two into this even on the lower dosages uh, that I started eating a lot less food and I got to the point where when I would eat food I would eat half of what I would normally eat so then I started cutting back and so when I cut back I would still not even eat all of that food that I already cut back so from cutting back the food that I used to eat in half I'm now still to the point where I can't even eat all that food and I have to order less so it's a good thing it saves you money because you're not spending as much money when you go out to eat you don't have to order as much and you stay full uh, you know I used to do the OMAD diet which is the one meal a day that's what it stands for I used to intermittent fast and so I feel like on this medication it's so easy to intermittent fast it's so easy to do the OMAD now if I don't eat for a day my blood sugars won't crash I just don't experience that so I could technically eat one meal a day on this medication and be completely fine I do remember a certain time uh, a few months back where I went a whole two days without eating because I just was not hungry I was disgusted with food and then I started eating again I don't know if I was just getting sick at that moment uh, but I was tired and I just did not want to eat I don't know if it was a side effect of the medication but it was the only time that had ever happened with taking the Manjaro so I can't really say it's from the Manjaro specifically I believe it did have a lot to do with it because it does curb your appetite but I think maybe I was getting sick at the time as well but that was a few months ago I've been completely fine ever since I'm enjoying the drug uh, I have heard stories and I don't know if this is true I need to do research on it but I have heard rumors it's gonna be a shortage on Manjaro and so I'm hoping that that's not true because Manjaro is amazing. I feel like it's really changed my life with my A1C and my weight loss. Uh, it's, it's crazy to think that you can take one shot a week and your blood sugars will go up, but they'll come back down. And I've, I don't normally experience that, guys. If I don't take insulin, my blood sugars will continue to rise. And, uh, you know, I have to do low carbs and that type of stuff. But on this drug if I take it I can go eat regular food and still have my blood sugar yeah it'll go up to maybe you know depending on what I eat it'll go up to 130 140 sometimes 170 if I eat a lot uh, but it comes back down within the next hour or two and, and it's incredible because uh, you know I take metformin but if I didn't take metformin it would still come back down and that's just the effects and the power of this drug how powerful it really is for one shot a week it's incredible and so anyways guys just want to get on here and share some of my experience with this uh, a solution that I found works for me it may not work for everybody but hey listen if you are dealing with constipation go ahead and give it a try go ahead and go to the local grocery store get something like juice or whatever you would have mix in a packet of that Marilax or the generic Marilax and drink it once a day just for maintenance and uh, guys tell me what your thoughts are on this drug below in the comments have you had side effects what are you facing right now what milligram you're at right now how long have you been on it what is your current side effects because I would like this to be a help for other people who are searching for a difference with this drug they're searching to have a lower a1c maybe they're struggling with obesity with their weight maybe they're at 2.5 starting out and possibly they're in a situation where nothing's happening they've been on it for three weeks maybe four weeks and they haven't seen hardly any weight loss maybe they haven't seen any curbing of the appetite maybe no weight dropped at all guys listen as I said in my video that I will link below it never really hit me until about 10 milligrams maybe 12.5 where I really started noticing where my appetite was really being suppressed when I started noticing my weight was dropping and my a1c within that time period it had dropped so low compared to where it was guys hang in there don't get discouraged keep on keeping on let me help you to stay focused stay committed stay on this drug 
and see if it'll work for you. Give it some time, guys. Don't just bail out on it because you know you first started having trouble with your stomach hurting or you start having some stomach indigestion issues or constipation. Guys, do not let it stop you because this drug, if you give it a chance, will change your life as it's changed mine. If this video has been beneficial at all and helpful for you, please consider subscribing to my channel. Go ahead and hit the like button because it does help the algorithm and hit the notification bell so that way every time I make a video like this or have a thought and I want to share with you something that's helped me or just general reviews of things that you might want to know about, you're up to date. Guys, thank you so much for checking this video out and if you stayed to the end, you're absolutely awesome. Please share this video with anybody that you think would benefit from it. See you later, guys.